All right, man. All right, we're here back. It has been a while for like the two to five people that watch these videos semi-regularly and are wondering why I uh, <laughs> haven't made a video in a while. Uh, while I have been watching stuff in the film and television realm, I've been prioritizing sports. It's been March Madness and college basketball, and so for the last month or two, I've been really kind of hyper-focusing on sports and just letting myself enjoy that. So again, for the very few people that maybe watch these consistently and could ever wonder why I wasn't pumping these out the way I once was, pumping, not really, um, but wasn't as consistent, it, that's why. I've been watching stuff though so we're gonna get right back into reviews I got a few things to review they're all gonna be today so they're all gonna be in the same shirt so don't think I'm 30 I'm not I swear <laughs> um, so this one's going to be about Pam and Tommy which is a limited series from Hulu that came and went recently uh, with limited series I'm going to review them as a whole instead of episode by episode the way I do with multi-season series just because I feel like it's easier. I'd rather just enjoy the series and then give it to you guys if it's only going to be 10 episodes long anyway. Uh, again, if this channel ever gets big enough, I'm probably going to get people demanding I do episode to episode, but that's a big if. Anyway, so Pam and Tommy is the first one I'm going to go for. I have um, more lowlights than highlights, and I don't know if it's more necessarily, but just more important thing, things that stuck with me more on the lowlight side side than the highlight side. So as you know, unusual with series, I do highlights, lowlights, whichever one I got more of, I do second. For this one, I'm gonna start with the highlights. I think that Sebastian Stan and Lily James are really well cast for these parts. I think it's like almost a, uh, I mean, less with Sebastian Stan. I think he's kind of this year, the dude's in everything and he's proving that he's got, if nothing else, range. Because <laughs> uh, not a single part he's played, I think even in his career, if we're gonna go that far, has been anything like any other part. So I think he's like a, uh, I don't want to say like a poor man's Daniel Day-Lewis, but like that same realm of like, he likes to take on different parts every time he goes out. And I think he really takes an interest in that. And this is no different. I think that this is super cool. And I think after seeing it, I, I think, I think, I think I'm saying that a lot. After seeing it, it's, um, I couldn't have imagined anybody else playing the part as well as he did. He really, he brought a certain kind of charisma to the character, but a weird softness as the series goes on. And I think in the beginning you don't get that, but it's more just the layout of the show and the writing, which I'll get into later. Uh, Lily James, I think that's more of what I would compare to something like uh, Nicole Kidman in Being the Ricardos. I'm not gonna give that same credit to Javier Bardem. I think that was still a terrible choice. And that's nothing against his casting, his acting ability. But anyway, Nicole Kidman got a lot of backlash when her name came out to the point where she almost dropped out of the role for Lucille Ball but we're all glad you did it now because I think she is really good in that part. And I think the same thing goes for Lily James. Not that there was backlash, but I think you think about Pamela Anderson and then you look at Lily James and they don't look alike at all. And uh, obviously, you know, makeup, the team's going to take care of that, but still even just playing that part, I think she was amazing. I think that's really arguable. I think her and Sebastian Stan made it hard to choose of which one of them was even better at playing the part. I think they were just so good even together. I, I really enjoyed them once they got into it. Um... If I'm being honest, beyond that, I think it's all lowlights. I think that the show, a low light, which isn't bad, the show just could have done more, I think. And I'm not sure, I don't know too much about Tommy Lee and Pam Anderson other than what the show did give me, but I assume that I'm like, if you're digging into people, you can get a little bit more than what they got. So that's, but that's just me again, who am I? Um, also, I think Seth Rogen being cast in this was just random. I think that's, I mean, just as much me going, Seth Rogen's not a legitimate actor. Let's put it that way. While he's been in legit projects, I mean, I know he was even in, like, he was in Jobs, Steve Jobs, which is, like, a great movie. And he's done some legit stuff. I think putting him in a part where he, starting the series, is at the forefront, he's funny for maybe five minutes, and then it's the rest. It's, like, it's hard to take Seth Rogen serious at all, and I think there are points in this where whether they wanted you to or not, it would have been better if you were taking him serious. Like, I couldn't, I didn't care about the pain he was going through. I didn't care about the fact that he was suffering. I didn't, I was just expecting something humorous to come out of it, and nothing did. And then it also, even when it did, it wasn't funny enough. And I think Seth Rogen, if you're gonna go funny, go somebody funnier than Seth Rogen. If you're gonna go, like, serious, if you want this to be set in realism, then you gotta go with somebody else. I think his casting was just, it was a draw. And I get that. I'm learning that more and more as I'm becoming more, you know, learned with the industry itself, is that he was probably the biggest draw in that series because it's Seth Rogen and something that's not produced by Seth Rogen. So I get it, but I wasn't a fan of him being in it. 
I think his performance was kind of just one note. It wasn't terrible, but it was very one I didn't care. Every time he got on the screen, I didn't care. And that helped when they finally, like, towards the end, like, after two or three episodes, he's kind of out and then doesn't come back till the end, and he's kind of just barely in it. But I think that that is part of the next point that I have, is that the layout of the series is very all over the place. Like, you never really get your footing with one storyline before they jump to something else, and they move really quick, and I know they only have however many episodes, I don't even think they did a ten full, I think they did eight or nine episodes. I know you don't have a lot of time, but I think there are things that they could have tossed out the window and replaced with other things or taken their time with certain things and not taken their time with others. And You know, we barely got attached to Tommy Lee and Pamela's characters who I think in real life weren't the victims at all. I think, I mean, they were and they weren't. They were, but it's also like they lean in early that they're kind of bad people in order to help Seth Rogen's character's storyline and everything. And I'm, if you haven't watched it, watch it. But I think the layout made it harder to like. Um, that combined with the fact they put a lot of attention on a very boring character with Seth Rogen's character. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. It really, uh, there weren't t anything terrible, but I think it just was, sorry, the door's open so you're hearing outside probably, but it was okay. At very best, it was, it was okay. <laughs> so tell me what you think. It is on Hulu, Pam and Tommy. It's an easy watch. It's I think not even an hour long per episode. Maybe it's an hour long and it's only like eight or nine episodes. So it's not super long to watch. It's one season and you won't regret watching it, but I'd love to know people's opinions in the comments. So if you have watched it, let me know. If you are going to watch it, come back and let me know. That's Pam and Tommy from my point of view. I'll give it like, you know what? I'm not going to grade it right now. Just see you guys.